Final round highlights from the NEC Series Latino America Tours, Arturo Calle Colombian Open. Starting off on the 7th, it's Manuel Marizalde from just off the green on the par 5 7. Leaves himself a nice little chip. This would be for Eagle to jump to 15 under par, but he leaves it short, but would tap in for birdie there to move it to 14 under, but he would finish at 13 under in a tie for fourth. Nelson Ledesma now from Argentina. This for birdie to get to 11 under on the par four. He gets that one to go, finishing with a two under 68 on Sunday. Also finishing a tie for fourth at 13 under. There were a slew of guys that finished there after their final 18. Jose Garrido from just off the green here hits the flag stick. Terrible luck, but would tap in for a birdie. He had two top five finishes last year, both in Colombia. Well, he can make that three top fives in the last two seasons. He would also finish in a tie for fourth. Daniel Maziata here with a birdie on 11th. He would get as low as 15 under par before giving two back in his final four holes to finish at, you guessed it, 13 under par. Rick Cochran, the third now. He was in contention all week. He won a mini tour event back in 2012, looking for his first professional win after earning his card through Q School on the Latino America Tour. This to get to 15 under par. As he would roll that one in, but he would finish at 14 under in a tie for second with this man, Andres Echevarria. He won in Colombia last year. He is full stars on the web.com tour this year and was putting together just a ridiculous round. This would be for Eagle to jump to 15 under par. He would miss it right. Cannot believe it that he missed it right. But this would be for a tidy little 63 to improve 13 spots on the leaderboard and notch a tie for second finish. Not bad for a Sunday's work for Echevarria. But no one was as good as this guy all week long, David Vangus from Columbia. This on the 11th for a long birdie opportunity. He would just burn that right edge. You can see his caddy trying to will the ball to go in. He would tap in for par there, would go on to bogey 12, but then eagle 14 to jump to 17 under par. Vangus coming off a of birdie now on 17. He has some wiggle room here. For the win, that would be for the birdie and the outright win burns that left edge. But don't worry, folks, he can just tap that one in for par to win by a three-stroke margin. David Bangus claiming his third professional victory. All three of those wins coming in his home country of Colombia.